everybody and welcome back to FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. Um, I was just logging in to play a few more kind of single player stuff and try and get some more coins etc and I noticed that my store had six packs in it and uh, so I thought well I might as well start recording and then we can unpack these while we're here. So um, obviously I know what these two are. This one looks very interesting. So I can get a Champions League player, and I get to pick from a selection of five untradeable gold players. Cool. Redeem the player pick. Okay. Do any of them play in the... No, they don't. Okay. None of them play in the Italian leagues. Mm. What other league would I consider doing? Spanish, maybe. I mean, I think I'd probably consider doing Spanish, um, most likely. Would I do German? Um, I don't think I'd... I mean, I might do German. I wouldn't currently do Premier League at the minute, because um, I... Uh, it's just too expensive. Too expensive. And then that's the Russian League, which actually I do quite like, because I, I was buying some Russian players, I believe it is anyway. Is it the, uh, yeah, League of Russia? So there's the question. Do I go for, nah, I could go for Spanish. Yeah, we'll take Silicon, the uh, Barca keeper. Okay, not the greatest of players, but not bad. This is obviously going to be Neymar, I'm guessing. I think we can skip this comfortably. How many times do we get him? Seven, okay. I don't really like using lone players, but I can, I can understand they get you out of a bit of a fix sometimes. Uh, yeah, we know Ronaldo. I mean, I could use Ronaldo, couldn't I? Sorry, he's at Juventus, so actually that's pretty good. Ronaldo, yeah, I could have him up front. This is a soundtrack artist kit pack. I think I already know this one, yeah. I've seen this already. Doesn't really interest me too much. And then we have two gold packs, I believe, two jumbo premium gold packs. Again, I have no idea why I've got these. They just suddenly appeared. I don't know if this is like, because I've got like the ultimate edition or whatever the hell edition it is that came with the origin access premium uh, maybe just gives me a but hey there's 24 gold items and 7 rare in there so let's have a look at what we get shall we I gotta obviously wait for the animations on this one and we've got a I swear I've got this guy before I was thinking of making a Brazilian team so might not be too bad another Brazilian player there uh, otherwise very underwhelming there but player contracts are good um, what else have we got United States badge young boys kit which if you didn't have that big white thing would actually be pretty cool and then a, um, a weird ball is that like an A I'm going to make it active because it looked like it was a Japanese one oh I can send it forward to a camp that could be useful actually maybe we could turn um, the into life um, do you think some player healing and some player fitness. Sure, it's useful. Let's open the, the next one. I hope we get a bit luckier. Which is someone I use, could use, would be nice. A German centre forward. Stindel. Okay, I've never heard of that guy. Oh, Max Mayer. Yeah, oh, bloody hell, this was a German pack, wasn't it? Goodness me. Okay, maybe I should make a German team. Max Mayer. Actually, she probably wouldn't be too bad if I made just a literally German team. Oh, that's quite a cool away kit from Torino there. Um, we already have this guy, so we'll, I mean, I shortlist him on the transfer market or whatever. Um, left back to left wing back, player healing, to player fitness. The Bologna kit's actually not too bad either. Why don't we even change up our kit a little bit? I don't want to have two white kits, to be fair. There we go. It's a little bit underwhelming, not going to lie. Um, I've got 9,000 coins. I think I'm going to save up my coins a little bit to get a, a, a decent player. But let's have, just have a quick look, then. If we, say, one in German players. Who have we got? Sindor Mayer, Stark. You know what? It's not a terrible side, though, is there, actually, straight out? That's actually not a, a terrible 
control side. And then if we choose, I was talking about like possibly making a Spanish league team. Uh, okay, Carvalho, pretty decent. Vasquez, who I've currently got my side, Nacho Fernandez and Sillison. Again, they're making some a pretty decent side there actually as well. So maybe that's a couple of projects um, to do currently. Um, Last time I think I was talking about possibly buying Balotelli. Uh, I brought Vasquez and Balotelli and trying them out. I wouldn't say they're better. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I, I'm willing to definitely... I'm thinking I might... <laughs> I'm just such a like uh, indecisive sort of person. But I was thinking maybe of switching to a 5-3-2 with wing-backs. We could change him to a wing back. I mean, he could just play there anyway. If obviously he's a wing back already, but we just need some decent Italian defenders. So shall we have a look for that in the transfer market before we play a game? Gold centre back uh, needs to play in the Irish league. Because I was thinking of having Giovinco up front alongside Balotelli. It could be quite good. If anything, you know, just try it out, see how it works. It's not, you know, we're going to need good defenders anyway, so. Not buying players I don't need. Romagnoli is good. Uh, let's compare him. So we're looking about 1,200. So one three is not a bad price for him. If we get him. So that's pretty good. Regani as well looks pretty decent. De Fischer. He's a bit more expensive. I like ones who can pass. So Radu here interests me. Uh, his passing is not bad for a defender. Basagli, um, Acerbi, Caceres, Acerbi is just solid by the looks of it. Caceres is quick for a defender, but I don't think he's all that. Uh, Marcano, Ricani's not got good passing, nor is Bastos. Um, who else have we got? That hair, you need to sort that out, man. Um, Makano's passing 60, I'd, I'd be kind of been looking here at least kind of 65 from Kulu. Kulu, decent pace, physically not great. Passing's pretty good though. 65. Kubali, I mean, his passing's awful. <laughs> but you just have him there as like a, you know, someone who's pretty solid. Uh, here's Radu again. Might be somebody worth a punt. Uh, such a uh, so Romagnoli. Romagnoli's got bad passing, so there's me going on about how I want to get people who've got some passing skill in defence, and then I'm just buying somebody who's got terrible passing as well. I'm sure that didn't go unnoticed. So this, I'm not seeing any other kind of names out there who, who might go along there, so uh, let's have a look for some Radus. 1200, might as well make a bid there. And then I was thinking of a Kulu, 2950. Let's make a bid there. Let's see what else there is. There's a 3-9, but it will go well up. 5-9 is what they're asking for him. I think I'm willing to pay that much. Miranda's pretty darn expensive as well. Let's see how we did on that other one. Did we win? Oh, sorry, that's the ones I'm selling. Did we win? Yes, we did. And this one, we've still got five minutes, okay. How long it takes to do that? Uh, what if we just have a look at Italian ones? I don't think that will work out because I think we've brought some players. In. But is there an Italian defender centre back somewhere who we haven't? Uh, that, that doesn't look like there is really. Uh, Regardi's pretty cheap actually, isn't he? Like that eight fifty. I don't think. Oh, that's cut <laughs> off. That's Regardi.
11 seconds and we'll have Eldara 42 seconds for Lugani and then we've got a while for Kudu but you know Radu I think looks pretty solid um, I never get why you have to do this thing of like assigning them it, it never quite makes sense to me is it something for people who like to do a lot of trading and stuff like that? I guess maybe like to buy low and sell high or something like that and make a few hundred coins and it just makes that easier for them or something like that. I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I literally do not know. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Usually if I have to go out. So, um, I'm going to leave that squad as it is because um, I want to, uh, I don't know, like, uh, God, where am I going? I want to possibly go back to that one. Um, so, we'll call this Minty Peas 2. And then we want to change the formation to like a 5, 3, 2, but with a... Like that, I'm thinking. And the player, uh, yep. So... Sorry, and then Vasquez here, and then we'll have um, no, no, Balotelli and Juvinko. like to have the bigger guy on the right for some reason don't ask me why I don't know um, I haven't done anything with the managers so uh, and then we want probably Italian league but we should put Ronaldo on the bench Savage and stuff like that. Um, let's put Barardi in there. And then Izzo, just because he's got a cool moustache. Spoilers, it's not cool. Okay. That's an 82 squad. Um, oh, that's a problem there, so move him over there. And that way, that's not a problem with our chemistry. Chemistry's 99 because we've got players who are out of position but that's okay um, so tactics wise uh, we want to probably I, I feel like I want to be a bit wider and I feel like I want to push up a little bit and then I want to be a bit more possessive I think so many, oh, yeah, fine, in the box, fine. Instructions for 
achieving go would be uh, a, a bit unbalanced. Getting behind or false nine, probably false nine. And then Balotelli would be kind of like getting behind. Um, stay a bit more central. Vasquez. This guy might switch for Rugami. And then Gonzalez. So now I've got like center bets coming out of my ear holes. Uh, so now I don't need it, so. So, yeah, that seems good. Chemistry's 97. Why does the chemistry get worse? <laughs> You want to put Radu there? Oh no. Ah uh, no, I want to move him that side. I'm going to put Radu in the middle. That chemistry is now 98. Because we've got, then we've got like a Lazio core. And that's all I can see, I think. Okay, let's play some games. We'll play it online. Um, division rivals, let's go. It's like a Sunday afternoon, so I have no idea how things are going to go. How are we going to search for our opponent, or whatever we do. Sturm, Graz. I wonder if that's his actual team. Uh, is that going to be a kit? I think we'll be alright. Got the Bologna kit on. Latency looks good. Okay, he's got uh, he's got Zahar up top. Nice. Who's that guy in midfield? Is that Fred? I want to say that's Fred. This looks like an old England kit. Uh, that was around actually. That was a dodgy pass. Okay. Got to kind of get used to these pass names. I mean, he's not closing me down too much so that's good I haven't got the wingers though okay that wasn't so good uh, yeah it'll be interesting because every different formation means you have different ways to score but it means you have to learn those ways you know um so, I don't, I'm interested to know, like, as I said, I've been struggling with defending. Um, so, I'm intrigued to know. What's going on? Maybe this false nine's a bit too deep. He's very deep. Damn. He is very, very deep. And this guy, as with most FIFA players, is just happy to counter-attack. And, and I kind of like said last time, like, that is the kind of default tactic which everybody 
will go with. So I kind of like to try and find a way around that because if you can um, beat teams who counterattack a lot of the time, then you're kind of going to be 80% of people out there. Two targeting obviously to the, the people who've got ridiculous skills. Um, I mean, it's not going quite so well so far, but I don't think it's anything that's troubled my keeper too much. Oh, I was trying to hit the guy in the middle there. for the guy in the middle, just kind of tap it a bit, but obviously the computer had different ideas there. side is really annoying. Okay. Worked it into the middle at least. I think I really would have beaten this guy if I was playing a different tactic. Uh, or if I could maybe pass a little bit. How unlucky am I? Every tackle I made, the ball just goes straight to the guy. I think that's a foul, yeah, on the edge of the box. Got any bullshit on these tackles, though, I'll tell you that much. Oh, that wasn't so good. Okay. You can just hit it up to Palatella, he's pretty good in the air. See? It's a nice, nice option him. No idea why that player just didn't bother running to the ball. It's true, the guy need to get him more up top, so we need to change tactics here a little bit. Change him away from a false nine.
seriously, can I get the ball after I tackle? Like, it's just too much to ask. <laughs> It's too much to ask. Every like every tackle I've made in the middle of the pitch, just, just can't seem to get the ball. Uh, okay. Let's have him getting in behind. Maybe him as a target man. whatsoever there. Actually didn't check the oh. Damn it. My passes are just not I tackle. I don't get the ball. I, I pressed pass and it didn't do anything. That's so annoying. press pass and it didn't do anything and then you're waiting you're like no nope, no nope, I need to press pass again by that point the guy's closed you down but no not playing well at all I, I haven't felt like a, I haven't even had a chance this game so far I mean that probably deserved a goal Oh my god, he screwed up. No, that was a chance. That was a chance. Oh my god, what a head. There just seems to be a lot of space in like midfield and... Still, they're just kind of getting through my defence. So I don't know, maybe this isn't the tactic. Maybe I would need different personnel for this. Fuck. I've already pressed tackle, I had no when I got the ball. You, you would think I hadn't warmed up, but I actually played a game before this. <laughs> uh, just like a single player game. Oh, fuck's sake, the touch of that. I'm thinking of maybe going like 
five in midfield. I don't know if, uh, I mean, I don't really have like right and left midfielders, but. See what I mean? Ah, oh, the tackling is a joke today. Yeah, I th and he's got five at the back and he's just sitting right back and I can't seem to get past it. I should have, shouldn't, this was not a good tactic to play this game. I should have at least practiced with this a little bit first, so uh, I'm kind of annoyed at myself, really. Yeah, I, I mean, I had one chance, he had quite a lot, so it was pretty bad. <sighs> Still 1,400 coins, I guess.
enough. There won't be a kick clash at least. Oh, great. Has this guy got such a good team already? I guess it's actually not unfeasible. Still, his chemistry was not good, so maybe we can get him on that way. I saw that ball come across and I thought, ah, he'll be alright. Actually ended up being a pretty good save from the keeper. I, pff, which person does it want me to select? Because it clearly isn't the person who is the ball. That's it, that's good. Ah, that's a shit. I don't want 
find that many in the box though, that's the... Oh, for fuck's sake, I could just see that was going to happen. Ah, oh, good. That's the problem, you can get caught on the counter very easily, and if people are playing like that way, then it's even easier. I like having a high line though, I must admit. Oh my god. Or even was that? Oh, he's injured, okay. He's injured, okay. Not bad to be able to bring on Ferrati, I guess, even if he's alone. See that guy there. Nice. Ah, oh, I didn't manage to, to get it. Okay. I mean, I think we are, but I think the high line is working to an extent. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Possession-wise, I must have must have loads. Sorry if the unit isn't tapping. I think someone's banging outside. Yeah, fifty-seven percent. Um, it's annoying, and I apologise. Sunday afternoon, I guess people have probably got a right to be doing DIY. I can't get too annoyed at it. Nice touch, Verratti. 84, skill player. It's a good ball. Oh, for God's sake, Brozovic. Man. Oh, my God. That's embarrassing for me, and it's embarrassing for him.
It's like my players just got out of bed or something. It's just not on it. You know, advantages these players aren't really on it either. Oh, well, not that side, you idiot. You go the other side, the player. Clearly. I can't take this Giliardini off. Like, he is like... I, I mean, I pin him in this game, but his touch has been awful. Like, it's been atrocious. I can't control a ball. I think I've used him a lot, and he's way better than... Why did I do that? Oh my god, what an idiot. <laughs> I thought that, in my defence, when somebody starts a run like that, they'll usually continue the run, not stop halfway through. So, you could understand why I thought he was going to carry on there, and just slot that in. Not sure if I deserve that or not, but I'll take it. <sighs> Politano is actually, I think, a very underrated player. I do recommend him. I think he's really good. His stats are pretty decent for a left winger. This guy had a really good team, remember? Let's not forget that as we beat him. Just goes to show you can buy all the packs you want. Doesn't make you better at the game. And I'm not even that good. So, that's it. Bratty, 84, just burnt it up. Bloody hell. <laughs> Didn't expect to win that header. I can't really tackle with the Bratty, can I? That's actually good. What are you doing? Not really much. 
watched it is that I'm just going to boot our pitch. Well, that worked well. He's not even bothering to chase down that, that you know. I tell you now, Balotelli's really good in the air. I should actually put some crosses in for him sometime. That was terrible. He's hitting it right at my keeper every time. <laughs> He's had a lot of shots, but I swear they've not done anything. Look at it, Balotelli's quality in the air. a lot of shots on target but they just all seem to go straight to uh, my keeper my skill rating went up yay I have no idea what any of this means <laughs> anybody know what this means because up there and I'll, I'll uh, play a little bit off camera and, and see where we're going with the team and, and maybe who knows maybe I would have built a different squad next time they've got some ideas um, with what to do I like this uh, Italian squad though it's pretty strong I think it's pretty decent so yeah until next time guys thanks for watching see you soon